Astronomers have revealed never-before-seen images of the sun, and they've got closer than ever before. The striking high-resolution images of the sun's surface were captured by a solar telescope in Hawaii. This is one image looking a lot like a collection of gold nuggets. Actually, each one of these nuggets is roughly the size of Texas. Let's get more on this now from the director of the solar telescope that did the work, Thomas Romelli. Uh, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Just give us an idea how unusual, how different, how interesting this is. Well, what you're looking at are the first images of what is now the largest and most powerful solar telescope in the world. Uh, what you're seeing there are convection cells on the solar surface uh, where hot plasma rises and cools off and then uh, drops back down beneath the surface. And as part of that motion, magnetic fields are generated and you see those in the images as little bright features, little bright points, uh, which for the first time uh, we have been able to resolve at, at their intrinsic scale. And that scale is extraordinary, isn't it? Obviously you knew what you were trying to get. When you first saw the images, what was your reaction? Oh, I was just very, very happy. Uh, we have spent 25 years of work on this telescope. Uh, a whole team of engineers and scientists have basically put their lives work into this. And seeing the images was the reward uh, after all of this work. We were just, just very, very happy. So in more detail, what are the images telling you? Well, these images let us resolve the magnetic fields, which the sun, the sun generates uh, on these very small scales, the size of Manhattan. Uh, and we are looking at those from 93 million miles away. What we really want to accomplish with this telescope is to precisely measure the magnetic field, not only on the surface of the sun, but also in the upper ap atmosphere, uh, in particular in the corona of the sun. So the corona is the, the outer atmosphere of the sun that you can see with your naked eye during an eclipse. What we currently cannot do uh, is measure the magnetic field in the corona, and the inner ray solar telescope will let us do that. That's incredibly, incredibly important to us because the sun generates this immense amount of energy and stores it in, in a magnetic field that sometimes becomes unstable and leads to uh, solar eruptions, flares, coronal mass ejections that impact us very much here on Earth. Uh, power grid failures, communication failures, satellites can be taken out uh, by solar storms. So we're very much interested in fully understanding the physics behind the solar magnetic field. Yes, on that particular point, are there specific things from these images that these images make you think we need to know much more about this? Uh, yes, I mean, as I mentioned, we have to measure the magnetic field. These are the very initial images from this new facility. Uh, they indicate that we have achieved the resolution that we were looking for, but now with new instrumentation that is yet to come online, that we will bring online in the next few months, we will be able to, to precisely probe the magnetic field and trace it all the way up into the corona. Thank you so much for talking to us. Oh, thank you very much. Good luck with all that. Thank you.